Welcome to September's Sisterhood Soiree. Say that five times faster, right? Okay, so I thought I would chat about exfoliation um, because as we head into the cooler months, um, skin tends to get a little bit drier or maybe after um, being out in the sun all summer long, you have some dry spots um, here and there. Maybe the feet are not so great. Um, so I thought I'd share some exfoliation tips with you. Um, and I think my stuff's backwards, so bear with me as I sort this all out. Okay, so um, let's start with the face first, okay? So exfoliating the face, um, removes that, well, with any exfoliation, it removes that top layer of dead skin. Um, so you're going to brighten your complexion, uh, even out the skin tone, um, unclog pores, um, remove the appearance of pores. That was the one thing that surprised me. I thought getting large pores was a thing of getting older and old age and all that. Turns out, no. Um, a lot of times it has to do with your skincare routine, um, your makeup, and all of that. So if you have questions about that, you know what to do. Just text me back and ask me your questions. Um, and then it can also help uh, fade dark spots and fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm going to share my favorite and that is the microdermabrasion cream. Use it one to two times a week. Some people use it three times a week, but just check your skin, okay? Um, because we do want our skin to be able to um, rejuvenate. Um, so we do want to give that kind of um, day in between, um, or two days in between, um, exfoliating. Okay. Um, microdermabrasion cream, I highly recommend using it in the shower. It's just a lot easier, um, because then your face is all wet. You can, um, massage it in and then rinse it really easily. Really, really recommend if you have the facial polish that has those jojoba beads, that's really good in the shower because it's a lot easier to get those beads off in the shower than it is um, while at the sink. Um, and it doesn't take that much, okay? So I just have my old demo jar so I can't really um, show you. But I usually just take my pinky and scoop it out and that's about all I use um, to massage um, my whole face. Um, really a fine, gritty, super gentle though, okay? Um, definitely recommend trying this if you haven't tried it. Um, and this jar, I would say it probably lasts me at least six months, if not longer. Um, and I am one, I usually am at the two to three times a week um, exfoliating um, because my skin just kind of needs that. So everybody's skin's different. So you got to kind of test and experiment with that. Um, after exfoliating, you always want to put on some kind of moisturizer. Um, my favorite, coconut rehab cream. But pick the one that's right for you. Um, we've got lots of options. So again, if you're not sure um, the right uh, facial cream, you just text me back. I am your personal assistant here. And um, the other thing, um, sometimes because we are changing seasons, um, for most of us where we live, um, sometimes you do have to change um, your facial um, routine or sometimes your moisturizer kind of depends. Some people have to do the whole switch over and some just do pieces and parts. So if you have that where you're like, why is my skin acting funny? Well, it could be with the change of the seasons there. Okay, now let's talk about from the neck down. Now you can definitely use the microdermabrasion microdermabrasion on your neck if you'd like. Otherwise, you can go with our body polish, um, the Revival Body Scrub, formerly known as the Espresso Body Scrub. Oh my gosh, that stuff's so good. I haven't ate any of that for a while. Do I need to eat some? I don't know. Um, and then our latest is the Sedona Spa Body Scrub. Um, highlighting this as this is um, bonus buy for September so you can get a mini spa set so you can sample these products or they make a great gift so you can um, buy them um, on their own as well or you can just, just get the one as the bonus bite. Whichever one you want to do. So body scrub. Like all of our scrubs, mix it up before your first use. Um, body polish, usually you have to mix it up a couple more times because those oils do love to separate. 
So again, um, with exfoliating from the neck down with these scrubs and polishes, you're gonna improve um, your skin texture. You're gonna remove that dry, flaky skin. This was something I wasn't aware of. Like, I didn't think you should exfoliate where you have a dry spot. No, you totally should because um, that helps remove um, that dry skin. So then when you put a moisturizer on, it's gonna absorb in better. Um, that dry skin is like a barrier and so your moisturizer isn't absorbing in and doing um, the right job. Sometimes, depending on the spot, you might have to exfoliate a little bit more gentler with that, okay? Um, again, on your skin, it can help um, reduce the, those pores. Um, can also prevent breakouts. Um, so, you know, some people struggle with the acne on their back and shoulders. So exfoliating that area is really good. Except for I will always mention, make sure you are using a good shampoo because if you're not using a good shampoo and you have those breakouts, they could be connected. Um, then, um, same thing, it's gonna even out your skin tone. Um, as I mentioned, help that um, moisturizer absorb in better. Um, I didn't mention with this, but also um, exfoliating your face can help your makeup um, look smoother and um, like not to get the cakiness and all of that jazz. So tons of benefits for exfoliating. Um, from the neck down, you're going to want to do that one to two times a week. And if you know, our body polish is like everybody's favorite Um before you shave. So there's an extra tip. Um, lots of um, other uses um, for the body polishes and scrubs as well. So if you haven't seen that, uh, just text me back and I will get those tips for you. So I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Um, if you have any questions, again, text me back and I will assist you with that. Thank you so much for being here and look forward to sharing some more tips with you. All right, bye.